Steelmaking is the process for producing steel from iron and ferrous scrap. In steelmaking, impurities such as nitrogen, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur and excess carbon are removed from the raw iron, and alloying elements such as manganese, nickel, chromium and vanadium are added to produce different grades of steel. Limiting dissolved gases such as nitrogen and oxygen, and entrained impurities in the steel is also important to ensure the quality of the products cast from the liquid steel. There are two major processes for making steel, namely basic oxygen steel making which has liquid pig iron from the blast furnace and scrap steel as the main feed materials, and electric arc furnace steel making which uses scrap steel or direct reduced iron as the main feed materials. Oxygen steel making is fueled predominantly by the exothermic nature of the reactions inside the vessel whereas in EAF steel making, electrical energy is used to melt the solid scrap and or DRI materials. In recent times, EAF steel making technology has evolved closer to oxygen steel making as more chemical energy is introduced in the process. History Steel making has played a crucial role in the development of modern technological societies. Cast iron is a hard brittle material that is difficult to work, whereas steel is malleable, relatively easily formed and a versatile material. For much of human history, steel has only been made in small quantities. Since the invention of the Bessemer process in the 19th century and subsequent technological developments in injection technology and process control, mass production of steel has become an integral part of the world's economy and a key indicator of technological development. The earliest means of producing steel was in a bloomery. Early modern methods of producing steel were often labor-intensive and highly skilled arts. C. Finery Forge, in which the German finery process could be managed to produce steel. Blister steel and crucible steel. An important aspect of the Industrial Revolution was the development of large-scale methods of producing forgeable metal. The puddling furnace was initially a means of producing wrought iron, but was later applied to steel production. The real revolution in steel making only began at the end of the 1850s when the Bessemer process became the first successful method of steel making in quantity, followed by the open hearth furnace. Modern processes, modern steel making processes can be broken into two categories, primary and secondary steel making. Primary steel making involves converting liquid iron from a blast furnace and steel scrap into steel via basic oxygen steel making or melting scrap steel and or direct reduced iron in an electric arc furnace. Secondary steel making involves refining of the crude steel before casting and the various operations are normally carried out in ladles. In secondary metallurgy, alloying agents are added, dissolved gases in the steel are lowered, Inclusions are removed or altered chemically to ensure that high-quality steel is produced after casting. Primary steel making. Basic oxygen steel making is a method of primary steel making in which carbon-rich molten pig iron is made into steel. Blowing oxygen through molten pig iron lowers the carbon content of the alloy and changes it into steel. The process is known as basic due to the chemical nature of the refractories of euro calcium oxide and magnesium oxide euro that line the vessel to withstand the high temperature and corrosive nature of the molten metal and slag in the vessel. The slag chemistry of the process is also controlled to ensure that impurities such as silicon and phosphorus are removed from the metal. The process was developed in 1948 by Robert Durer and commercialized in 1952 a Euro 53 by Austrian VOEST and AMG. The LD converter, named after the Austrian towns of Linz and Donowitz is a refined version of the Bessemer converter where blowing of air is replaced with blowing oxygen. It reduced capital cost of the plants, time of smelting, and increased labor productivity. Between 1920 and 2000, Labor requirements in the industry decreased by a factor of 1,000, from more than three worker hours per ton to just 0.003. The vast majority of steel manufactured in the world is produced using the basic oxygen furnace. In 2011, it accounted for 70% of global steel output. Modern furnaces will take a charge of iron of up to 350 tons and convert it into steel in less than 40 minutes compared to 10 a euro 12 hours in an open hearth furnace. 
Electric arc furnace steel making is the manufacture of steel from scrap or direct reduced iron melted by electric arcs. In an electric arc furnace, a batch of steel may be started by loading scrap or direct reduced iron into the furnace, sometimes with a hot heel. Gas burners may be used to assist with the meltdown of the scrap pile in the furnace. As in basic oxygen steel making, fluxes are also added to protect the lining of the vessel and help improve the removal of impurities. Electric arc furnace steel making typically uses furnaces of capacity around 100 tons that produce steel every 40 to 50 minutes for further processing. Byproduct gases from the steel making process can be used to generate electricity through the use of reciprocating gas engines. Secondary steel making Secondary steel making is most commonly performed in ladles and often referred to as ladle. Some of the operations performed in ladles include deoxidation, vacuum degassing, alloy addition, inclusion removal, inclusion chemistry modification, desulfurization, and homogenization. It is now common to perform ladle metallurgical operations in gas stirred ladles with electric arc heating in the lid of the furnace. Tight control of ladle metallurgy is associated with producing high grades of steel in which the tolerances in chemistry and consistency are narrow. Hisana Steelmaking The Hisana steelmaking process is a process for primary steelmaking in which iron ore is processed almost directly into steel. The process is based around a new type of blast furnace called a cyclone converter furnace which makes it possible to skip the process of manufacturing pig iron pellets that is necessary for the basic oxygen steel making process. Without the necessity for this preparatory step the Hisana process is more energy efficient and has a lower carbon footprint than traditional steel making processes. See also, History of the Steel Industry, History of the Steel Industry, Argon Oxygen Decarburization, Decarburization, FINEX, Flood in Process, Steel Mill, Carbon Additive, References External links, the short film The Drama of Steel is available for free download at the Internet Archive, more, U.S. Steel Gary Works Photograph Collection, 1906-1971, Steel for the Tools for Victory, December 1943, Popular Science Large Detailed Article with Numerous Illustrations and Cutaways on the Modern Basics of Making Steel.